How's it, everybody? And welcome to The Daily Pigeon. My name's Andy Bumatai. And I'm James Monty. And you are the Hamajang Gang. How's it? How you doing? And, you know, I'll tell you... Um, it's very difficult to become the Haima Jang Gang. It is, but yeah. I have the secret for you all. Oh, there you go. So you might want to write this down. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, all you need to do to be to be part of the Haima Jang Gang is go in the live chat. And make a comment. That's it. That's it. Even if it's just one letter. But we like our special <laughs> yeah. letter K. How's it, Miles? Aloha, Mad Statter. How are you? I was lurking your show the other day, Mad Statter. Yeah. <laughs> Good fun. Anyway, um, let's see. What else is going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, we we want to remind everybody that today is, a, I mean, this week is a short week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because um, James has to go to the mainland to check out his daughter's graduation. Yay! How's that? Yay! I know. Hey, is this somebody new here, James? I've not seen that uh, avatar or that name before. Kathy uh, uh, Bonight Photo. Mm. Is that Bonight Photo? Bonight, maybe I'm saying that correctly. Yeah. How are you? And we got the, we got, look, she's got the uh, black and white avatar going nice. there. Oh, uh, you know, because me, I like black and white. Hey. <laughs> I like, obviously, I like purple. I oh, and there's Kenny. All you, Kenny, from uh, Friday Night Jams, one of the three hosts over there. Uh, Bow Night. Yeah, I think, it, is it, what? She's saying. I would say Bow Night. Like, okay. night, like a knight in shining armor night. That's yeah. right. Catherine. And, oh, look, uh, uh, did Catherine, a Bow Night, did Hawaiian movie. Oh. What does that mean? A movie about a Hawaiian? <laughs> No, I know that, but <laughs> I'm wondering which one. Oh, look, we have all kinds of new people here. Sweet. How's it, Ohana? Stay in Oakland, a.k.a. Okole, California. How are you? By the way, we do this thing that if someone is new here to the uh, Daily Pigeon, let us know your old stomping grounds because I have a bunch of videos uh, custom made, and maybe we have one that goes through your old mm. neighborhood. So let us know. Oh, you're Kamaka's friend. Oh, ah. okay, there we go. Yeah, my good friend, Kamaka. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, Kamaka Brown, who does his own uh, podcast and uh, show and has been here, and mm -hmm. we've done things together. Yeah, we, in fact, Kamaka and I went on tour together. I don't know if you know that, Catherine. Um, I guess it was about 2018. It's been a while now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aloha, Catherine. Tell them the name of the movie you did. Well, there you go. Yeah. Or just relax, enjoy, yeah. and let us know where you're from, and I'll show you uh, my editing skills. Molafa. <laughs> okay. Now, what we another thing that we do, uh, and this is uh, you know for the edification of anyone who may be new, we editorialize. Mm -hmm videos yes mostly news clips but yeah. all kinds and this first one here okay well let me tell you what's coming up in the show we have uh we're going to talk about mongoose they caught one on kawaii uh -oh. remember the uh, duka hanomoku right and it being asian and, and pacific islanders month mm -hmm. i think that was last month may no, may this month oh this month yeah. here there we go okay um we have a girl in waianae who's trying to bring awareness to the doctor shortage. Mm. Didn't know there was one. I guess that's a good sign. Height? Or okay. We, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> For you, everything is height. <laughs> and then how they're going to change the lifeguard shifts so that there are more lifeguards on more often, right? Mm. And there was some very bad planning uh, in the... Um, uh, they reupholstered a road and now i gotta rip them up again what? oh mean i know and then um on the and then the um what is it tech that tech oh, guy what's the tech I what think? what the tech what the tech yeah and he's going to be talking about a, an app that helps you um it reminds you to drink water oh. okay but let's go to this first one here i think i've got it all prepared and if you're new <clears throat> many hone sometimes attack okay so uh, here we go we see mongoose all across Oahu, but the invasive species is not on Kauai. That tie. Officials want to keep it that way. <laughs> the Department of Agriculture says Ooh. a live mongoose was caught this morning at Kauai's Nawiliwili Harbor. It was first spotted last week by dock workers, then again on Monday chasing a chicken in the parking lot. Ooh. 
43 traps. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. A mongoose ch t chasing a chicken? Oh, no wonder they caught him. They just put a little, a little bit of food in there. <laughs> I know. I did not know that there were no mon mongoose on Kauai. I didn't know either. Well, guess what? Surprise! Set. And this morning, it was found in one of those traps. Nice. Mongoose oh. are considered an invasive species that pose a threat to native ground-nesting birds. Yeah. No wonder they have so many chickens on Kauai. Because they don't want our mongoose. Yeah. And, you know, and for those of you who may not know, they introduced the mongoose to kill the rats. Mm. This is, this is what, in the 20s or something? The plantation days? Well, yeah, but somebody didn't know that they one's nocturnal and one's not. I think, you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> so they never, they've never to this day seen each other. <laughs> Crazy, <laughs> I know. They punch in, punch out, and they're like, hey, you, you, <laughs> you, you look like me, but don't look like me. <laughs> oh, by the way, I, I, I have an announcement to, to make. A while ago, and I think it was uh, G. Gamba asked about Malka and Makai, mm -hmm. right? And basically, I said, oh, Ma means toward, and Uka means valley. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, so Malka means toward the valley, and Ma means, you know, toward, and Kai is water, so... Mm -hmm. Toward the mountain or toward the... I was wrong. Oh. Yes, somebody corrected me, and I accidentally, um, uh, you know, erased the, the post, you know, but evident, evidently, ma is directional, right? So okay. when you say ma, you go, and uka doesn't mean valley, because, you know, kalihi uka, it means inland. Oh. And I thought Uka meant valley. Yeah, because I saw Kali Uka as Kalihi Valley. That's what I did, because so we call it Kali, and yeah. Yeah. I did the same thing, but it's inland, and the the Makai part I had right, but again, rather than mean toward, Ma just mean, is directional. Now, oh. The difference between directional and toward, I don't know, but... Um, only, so, only difference to me is spelling. I mean, <laughs> are you going towards or are you going directionally that way? <laughs> yes, yeah, sem semantics, but the use of ma. Yeah. Right? But anyway, uh, so I think it was uh, the person was Aloha, and they posted that, and I'm sorry I accidentally deleted your post, but thanks, eh? and I'm the first one. And don't quote me, I might be wrong. Yeah. That's right. And uh, Michael says, I can't stop noting, uh, noticing both of your Aloha shirts. They look awesome, very sharp. If you guys are selling, I'm buying. No. Well, he may, you may be able to get his shirt. Is yeah. that uh, Oahu? Yes, this is from Oahu Golf Apparel. Uh, you can get these beautiful shirts that go all the way up to size 6X at Oahu Golf Apparel. Dot com. Yeah, but you know what, uh, Michael, go to uh, oahugolfapparel.com, but mm -hmm. please mention that you saw it on the show. Yeah. You know, I'm sure they'd appreciate they that. They would love it. Yeah, because my, my, all my shirts I buy at Savers. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. You know, they're all used shirts from, from Savers. I wish they had a big and tall section, and I would be there. Ah, uh, I, I don't... If they do, it's just one shirt. One shirt. Or one shoe. Not two, not a pair, <laughs> just one shoe. One shoe. But since we're talking about it, sometimes we get thirsty. You know, we got to pimp out our sponsor, Hawaii Volcanic Water. Hawaii Volcanic Water. Yeah. That's right. In fact, I put mine in this little heat heater thing that I have on the side here. Mm -hmm. Put some honey, and my throat is getting better because Sweet. of it. Sweet. Yeah. So, and this is made with uh, recyclable plastic. Be Pono, do what's right. And I actually shared, if you go to the Facebook Daily Pigeon page, yeah. I shared Hawaii Volcanics explanation and diagram of how the, the water gets made. Wow. Yes. Oh, look at this. Shoots, duck soup. Oh, oh long man. time I never hit duck soup. Yeah, that was too easy. Yeah, it was too <laughs> easy. I know. And what's this? Hey, Terry in Scotland, raiding with a party of six. <laughs> Mahalo, um, Terry in Scotland. You know, um, uh, we are on a number of different platforms. Mm -hmm. We're on Facebook, YouTube, um, Twitch, um, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Yes. And, and what um, Terry in Scotland is doing is raiding on the twitch side yeah so mahalo for that and welcome all yeah. the people who came in with terry table for six yeah hey uh there's g gamba uh, uh, g gamba i don't know if you heard me talking about how i was talking about ma uka being you know toward yeah uka doesn't mean uh, valley it means inland. inland i was i was corrected and ma is directional it doesn't literally mean 
toward. So I think you're the one that asked uh, that. There we go. Okay, David Escobar, mahalo for being here from Northern California. And here's the moderationists, uh, Nani Aloha, saying, welcome, Raider. And another one of our moderationists, Devin, welcome, Raiders. Thanks, eh? Now we're going to do a little piece, and this was on a, a public broadcasting station, a oh. national show, because of Pas uh, Asian and Pacific Islander Month, mm -hmm. right? They did a piece on our Dukanomoku. Yeah, so let's watch that. Oh. Finally tonight, as part of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we're highlighting people whose contributions have often been overlooked. Tonight, we spotlight an Olympic swimming champion and the father of modern surfing, Duke Kahanamoku. Although his legacy can be seen around the world, his name is unknown to many outside Hawaii. He, meant, he pronounced Duke it right. Duke Kahanamoku mm -hmm. was a true son of Hawaii, completely at home on the waves. He first gained national attention as a swimmer. Look at that guy. He looks like a statue in that pose right there. Huh? He's, Ooh, he's ripped. A specimen. Overcoming both competitors and racism. In 1911, at Hawaii's first official amateur swim meet, the 20-year-old Kahanamoku shattered the world record for the 100-yard freestyle by a full 4.6 seconds. Ooh. But mainland officials refused to acknowledge his feat. Locals raised money what? for Kahanamoku to prove his talent as an Olympian. At the 1912 Olympic Games in Stockholm, he won a gold medal and a silver. He qualified for two more U.S. Olympic teams and won two more gold medals and another silver. His achievement in the pool brought more attention shot. to his surfing exhibitions. On beaches from Los Angeles to Sydney, he used his longboards made of Hawaiian koa wood to introduce the world to a sport little known outside of Hawaii. He also showed that surfboards could save lives. In this 1925, while surfing in Southern California, he paddled into a stormy ocean and rescued eight people whose boat was capsized. Wow. The incident was the inspiration for the rescue boards lifeguards use today. Kahanamoko also had something of a movie career. Between 1925 and 1955, he had small roles in more than a dozen films. He later returned to live full-time in Hawaii and began a 26-year career as sheriff of Honolulu. Kahanamoko is in three sports halls of fame, wow. surfing, international swimming, and U.S. Olympic. Kahanamoku died in January 1968 at the age of 77. 77. Oops, 77. Oh, I guess that's where I cut it off. Yeah. And Mad Statter wants to know, how much do you suppose those huge koa boards weighed? Oh, they were like 200 pounds. Well, look at his shoulders and his arms. He yeah. must, you know, yeah, you got to be strong to carry those. And not only that, when they rode them, they didn't have fins, right? So that oh. the bottoms are completely flat, so they rode completely different. So you used the weight and had to do stuff. But they could turn them, and they could what we call trim. They could go sideways. Everybody thinks that those just went straight in. Oh. But imagine, you know, the, the, he went to Australia. They weren't surfing yet. He went, hey, let me show you something. They went. Whoa, mate. <laughs> and look at them now. And look at them now. Yeah. Cheers. The father of modern surfing. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Kaolani. Hey, aloha, James, Andy, Gangi. How are you? Koa surfboard. Now that's heavy on Hawaiian style. Yeah. <laughs> Very literally. Yeah, there we go. Hey, aloha. Oh, hey. Wild Willie is K, but it's a capital K. Mm. If you're lurking, we ask, hey, just, just. You know, put on K so we know you're there. And how we got to that, by the way, I don't know if you've ever sent anyone a really long text and they answer you with K. <laughs> and then you get mad. You're like, that's all. You're not going to explain nothing. Right. So we went, adopt them. Yeah. yeah. Appropriate that bugger. Yeah. Oh, can my kangaroo surf? Yes. You're saying, and box. And don't make him mad, because he'll do both. That's right. Gonna catch cracks. <laughs> yeah, hi, Ellen. I don't know if I said howdy, hi to you. Oh, how wild will he K right there. Charles K is K. Because, you know, K. And hey, Stephen is K. Hey, Spirit Music. Yo, me not be lurking. I was there. That's Spirit Music. Check out Spirit Music on Twitter. Twitter. Um, uh, 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 yeah. No, Twitch. Twitch. Oh, okay. Twitch on okay. Twitch. I am sorry, Spirit Music. Yeah, good guy, and he does this uh, cool, you know, he, he, what do they call that? Looping. 
Oh, you know? oh, oh, oh. But if you do, if you do a, um, you know, he does originals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if you say, hey, can you play, you know, whatever, and he he gives it his best shot. Oh. Hey, Captain Paul Stewart, showing face. Oh, look at that, brother. Oh, is he riding a motorcycle or is he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he stands out on a bike. I thought he was on a horse there for a second. I went, yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, we talked about mongooses on mm -hmm. Kauai, Uncle Duke, Uncle Duke, right? And now there, here's a, a a young lady from the West Coast, why on I side? I'm mm. um, talking about bringing awareness to doctor shortages. Did you know there was a shortage of doctors? Wow. We're short of teachers. I guess it's in this in line to have shortage of doctors too. Hawaii's got short of a, a lot of things. Money, yeah. <laughs> roads. Uh. Mm. In some cases, patience. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but talent we have. Yes. All right. Okay. Let, let's let's check this out. Good work. On a mission to help ease Hawaii's doctor shortage. As our Mark Carpenter explains, she's taken her message to Congress. Kapolei native Tiana Elisara grew up with a passion to serve. As everyone knows, there's shortages, healthcare disparities, um, underserved in rural areas. So that's where I wanted to step in and say, hey, let me be that person to say I'm going to do something about it. And I, I want to Sweet. use my life's work to be able to give back. And training is underway for that life's work. She's currently in her first year at the College of Osteopathic Medicine at Virginia's Liberty University. As she hits the books, top of mind is Hawaii's desperate call for doctors. A recent UH report says the state is in need of nearly 600 physicians. Wow. Last month, Elisara arranged a meeting with Hawaii's congressional delegation to find ways to incentivize doctors to work in the islands. It was everything from supporting students while they're in school to supporting students while they're in their training programs or even when they're practicing as physicians. Um, there is a lot more to it than just getting into medical school and you're on your happy way. Although she's still early in her medical journey, wow. Elisara is working to be an ambassador in the industry. She was Hawaii's lone representative at a recent osteopathic physicians conference in D.C. And when she's through with school, her ultimate goal, work as a doctor at Waianae Coast Comprehensive Health Center. <laughs> How cool is that? Wow. I know. That's just that's where I right where I grew up. And by the way, that there's a great restaurant there, believe it or not. In there? Right in that in that same complex. Wow. From being from the west side, I absolutely see that there is a need um, for more um, support as far as healthcare on, on that side. And it's not like it's not unknown. And being that we're aware of that, we have to send our um, people who actually have the best interest in the community. And she's hoping she's not the only physician opting to come home. Mm. Mark Carpenter, Hawaii News Good now. stuff. <laughs> hey, mahalo to Gil Soto for the subscribbles. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. And oh, hey, spirit music. I, I want to hit you with something, okay? You know, Nani Aloha. Yeah, it's pronounced Nani. <laughs> <laughs> we had such fun the other day. I know you were calling. It it looks like it's spelt nanny. Yeah. Right? Like like the nanny for the kids yeah. or something, but it's actually pronounced nani. Yeah. Nani is a Hawaiian word that means beautiful. Yeah. Right? And so then when we were watching uh when we raided his, yeah. He kept, he, he Made a song for her, which oh, beautiful song, beautiful song. But he kept saying nanny, so yeah. But yeah. but because he, he, he had it on a loop. Yeah, we're doing post production here, and we're just dying. Yeah. So I guess nanny, she sends me a, a, a text and goes, I guess I'm watching the kids from now on. <laughs> yeah, and we are the kids that she's watching. Yeah, I get you know what. That is more yeah. correct than it is this not. Show, this show will be nothing without our moderationists. That's right. And we actually have four. We have mm -hmm. Nani Aloha, right? We have C Honda, mm -hmm. Ann Ware, and Devon. Yes. Yeah, there we go. But Nani sounds beautiful, too. Yes, it does sound beautiful, yeah. Nani. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I know, but I love that. Hey, Matt Statter, what? Aloha. Oh, Keone Nunes showed up today. Oh, I didn't. I let, oh, there he is. Let me let me throw him up on the screen so we can see. See, if had um, had uh, Keone Nunes heard me talk about Ma and Uka oh, and yeah. all that stuff, he would have corrected me yeah. because 
He's my go-to guy when it comes to that kind, yeah, right there. The Olelo Hawaii. Olelo Hawaii. And by the way, any new people haven't seen any um, posts about where your old stomping grounds used to be, let us know a lot of okay? Represents. Yeah, represent to yeah. the max. And then, you know, I, 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 not to interrupt the podcast, but I just want to say thank you guys, the Hemajang gang, because I kind of missed you guys oh. as I was traveling to do comedy. Yeah. And, you know, when you travel, like, and there was only two two days, two shows. Yeah. Was well, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Tell, tell, tell us about that. Well, how did it go? It was a lot of fun. I loved Kona and, Ma and uh, Maui and... People were great. Um, the people had fun, took a lot of pictures. Um, it didn't sell out both shows, but, you know, I'm still building my name. Yeah. But the whole time as I'm there, I want to come home. And then I was like, as I'm driving here, I'm like, you know what? This feels like home. So I, was like, I couldn't wait to come and podcast. It's like, Aww. I don't want to travel anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this. Did you run into any Hamajang gang people? Anybody who watched these podcasts? No, I did not. Uh, but, you know, maybe, um, you know, when the promotions is done in the right yeah. way and then we can be in yeah. towns where hema jang uh gang members are well so, i'm sure they're there but you know because we we get um requests from yeah, maui yeah. and the big island yeah. um this saturday i'll be on a uh, kawaii at the kawaii uh, resort and spa yes. i think it's called uh, for a mother a pre-mother's day show mm -hmm. saturday the 13th right yeah. in fact i'm gonna see see honda there Oh yeah, yeah. Um, she's gonna pick me up at the airport. We're start. We're starting to put it together here, hang out because she has tickets to the show. So I said, hey, you know, if you got nothing to do, because you know, let's hang out backstage, go mm -hmm. get something to eat, whatever. You know, we did. I did the uh, same with Tino Rose Cager when we were uh, on the on Big Island. You know, so yeah. And cool. I, I would like to say um, thank you to Kimura General Store on the Big Island. Yeah. Kimura General Store, uh, Kimura Fishing Supply that uh, helped out with uh, radio spots for me on Kona. Oh, okay. And and more than doubled the people amount of people that came out because of his wow. radio spots. Well, radio. Yeah. Gonna say, I spoke to um, my friend um, Ron Wiley today. Mm. Uh, he's on uh, Kauai, has been there, you know, at Kong Radio forever. Yeah, look, there's Tina Rose Cager right there. Tina Rose, come to Hilo. I will be there. Hey, come on, mouse. Let me click on eyes. There she is right there. Boom. Yes, Tina Rose Cager. We had good fun. Yeah. Went to dinner afterwards. <clears throat> Janice Grizzly, Vegola. I need uh, to get out. Uh, Davson frying it my brain. Hello, oh, that was a dyslexic nightmare. <laughs> you okay? Oh, <laughs> man, my brain was actually trying to decipher that. Oh, Eka Vika, mahalo for being here. Our retired um, trucker. trucker, trucker, right there. Ooh, fat fingers. Yeah, we know that. We know the groove, Kilne. Don't. Uh, this is a spelling-free zone, but but it's not a. Um, uh, intelligible <laughs> free zone <laughs> yeah here we go may 13th andy augie oh yes and <laughs> augie and frank de lima yeah. kawaii beach resort and spa 5 p.m tickets at andybumatai.com mahalo c thank you so much okay uh let's see keone nunas i understood i speak gibberish <laughs> so fine ah all right okay my fingers faster than my brain Ooh. <laughs> What, what do they say that you put your mouth in gear no you you, you engage your mouth before your brain is in gear <laughs> that's my problem okay we're going to talk now about um lifeguards are going to have a new schedule mm. yeah i know and this evidently allows them to have more lifeguards on more often so uh -huh. let's check this out all honolulu lifeguards will be on a 410 shift by the end of this year, meaning the lifeguards will work a 10-hour shift four days a week. I'm so glad it's not a 420 shift. <laughs> you don't want to get rescued. Well, you wouldn't get rescued. <laughs> you by... wouldn't. Hey, dude, check that out. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Is that That's real? According to the Director of Emergency <laughs> Services. The 10-hour shifts allow lifeguard towers to be manned from sunrise to sunset. That is um, with HR now. It's an agreement we have to make with the union. Um, the members have to sign off on it. But the 410s will be in place throughout the island uh, at the latest um, in November of this year. But I'm hopeful that it's going to be earlier. 
North Shore community members say some lifeguard towers are closed outside of high surf season due to staffing shortages. Hi, Jody. And believe extended hours will help save lives. Well, if it saves lives, then it's a good thing. Well, they hope so. Yeah. Right. And I'm sure, you know, we were talking about it before we went on, we went on the air, you know, mm -hmm. about, you know, four days a week. And then you got a long weekend. Yeah, I, li I like I think for mental health is good, especially if you have um, children. You have that extra day to spend okay, that time, time. Uh, because, you know, you're at work eight hours. What's two more hours? You know, it's like, yeah, you yeah. might as well just do that, and then you, you get a free day oh, yeah. off. Exactly. I yeah. remember when I first started in comedy, I used to do this joke. You know, people say Hawaiians is lazy. They're thinking about one four-day work week. Not one Hawaiian I know mind adding that extra day. <laughs> I, know. I love the 410 days. Yeah. I love it. Jody, are, are you back here in Hawaii, or are you in Las Vegas? Jody's helping uh, with that uh starting zippies up in oh. uh, las vegas yeah so let me know jody yeah uh, i've known her forever you know she was um at the maui um i forget maui marriott one of those uh -oh. five-star hotels then she went to beverly hilton believe wow. it or not yeah worked it and didn't fit oh i'm here on oahu okay well maybe we can uh <clears throat> Have lunch at Zippy's. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure she won't want to go. We got to hang. Yeah, we're just both thinking the same thing. 420 use would, required, would require more lifeguards. Oh, that's funny. One, they need more because somebody got to get snacks. <laughs> <laughs> somebody got to cook. Yeah. Man, you can get the hibachi out by the air there. Man. Man, go out, catch some mimpachi. <laughs> Grand Wailea, was oh, that what it was? Grand Wailea, I, I can't remember. Too many years ago, whoo, I like zippies here in the mainland. Well, talk to Jody, maybe she can talk to those guys. Make, make it happen. Right, yeah, so there we go. <clears throat> okay, so let's see, uh, we're ripping through these. And these we are, are. These are a little shorter than normal. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, maybe we can, we can play a video. Oh. Yeah, that would be good. Um, if we, because um, we're trying to do an hour and mm -hmm. stick to it, yeah. And usually we go over. I don't think we've ever gone under. No, no? If the, no. we've gone to up to the hour, we've never gone a minute less. <laughs> so we've never done a minute less than an hour. <laughs> I just the way your mind works. We've never done a minute less. Five minutes less, yes, but never one minute less. Okay, for anybody who's new here, by the way, l l let's show them around. What do you say? Let's do it. We have we have a number of cameras. This is what we call Mo'o Cam. Mm. Okay, let's see if it works. There we go. Hey. Yeah, this is. We put a camera on a gecko and we have them sitting up on the top of the thing. There. I like this because it makes them taller than me, which I usually come across people who can see <laughs> above me, unless they're upstairs. Yeah, and this is this is my mess. The or the reason we uh, we can't. Uh, yeah, I know, and and then we have the um, we have the um, the black and white cam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have that, and then uh, we added this one re recently. Um, we call it the Kinako cam. Kinako is my dog, but uh, she's not there right now. Yeah. You know, you know what's interesting uh, when I show these camera shots here mm -hmm. like this is. People don't know that we're sitting right across the table from each other. Yeah. A lot of them, yeah. you know. Ooh. And they don't re realize how much bigger I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit better. Hi, Felicia. Everybody over on Facebook. I'm a Facebook user. And uh, Kevin wants to know, when do you guys go back to making TV shows? We were going to do it this week. We contacted the, the, the TV station, mm -hmm. and they said, you know what? We still haven't got through what you guys already made. Yeah. So we'll let you know, and we need more. So we're going to do that. But most likely, when you get back, Oh, no, you're not back on Monday. I'm back on Tuesday. So this week, we're taking Thursday and Friday off, and then the following Monday. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so maybe after, maybe starting Tuesday or something. Yeah. We better get, we're going to forget how to do it. I, I, I don't even remember how many segments or minutes or, yeah. I, I got it written down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, for those who, who don't know what we're talking about, um, normally, not normally, but often we 
we edit out a TV show yeah. from this, yeah. right? And then we go, hi, whoop, today we're going to do this, and we, we add more broadcast quality. <laughs> yeah, and but. then it's uh, shown here locally and in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, but the, this, the podcast that we do, I like it because it's reaching out to the people they no longer live in Hawaii. They're on the mainland, and that's why oh, migrated Hawaiian. Yeah, so that's why we love seeing you guys show up, and because the show is for you guys. Yeah, and like Gil Soto from Texas, yes. right here. Hey, Matt Stetter, full on spring here, thunderstorms and occasional hail and tornadoes, mm. but so far nothing too bad. Oh, that's it. Well, we're hoping for you that it doesn't get worse. Yeah, <laughs> well, it didn't, man. Yeah. I see these tornadoes, you know, and I I, I was watching one. I had no idea. They pick cars up and flip them around. Yeah. I thought they had to really be going. But these things, it was like nothing. And then all of a sudden it goes, zoom, and then cars are flying. Yeah, because it's not even necessarily where the point of the, the yeah. volcano, I mean, uh, tornado. Volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Too much water. Traveling volcano. <laughs> That's scary. A volcano that just goes around and just burns yeah. it up. But it's like even the, the winds from the outside that, is yeah. strong enough to pick things up. Amazing. Right? Yeah. Andy and James will be gone Thursday, Friday of this week yep. and Monday yep. of next week. Yeah, we arrive. We come back from Wyoming on Monday. Okay. My daughter can't wait to get zippies. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a little musical break here and uh, play a video to give you an idea of the kind of thing we do. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're new and we may have a video that kind of looks like this that takes you through your old neighborhood. Let's check it out. The sun is warm There's a gentle breeze All the birds are making homes inside the evergreen the air is clear with our loved ones close you can pick out every star without a telescope so beautiful to see how we have changed in time you know everything we've lost comes home your face has it been that long looking forward to a fire and a sing along let's stay the same as the children grow and teach them all the simple things we thought we used to know so beautiful to see how we have changed in time Introspective, yeah. Yeah. Namaste Zen. Big sense of longing in this song. 
That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people when they get they go away, you know, just they they, they remember taking that drive, and when they were here, it will go, you know, body surf Sandys, you know, it's like nothing. You just go, and then you leave for a yeah, year or yeah, so, yeah. and you go, oh man, I wish I would have remind myself to. Well, go. I was only gone two days, and then when I got into my truck um, and drove on the freeway, yeah. Which they don't have freeways on the neighbor island. I was like, oh. "Oh, I am home. I am home." Which, by the way, when I got off that plane yeah. at at uh, it, it's eleven thirty at night, yeah, I, and I parked far. <laughs> don't don't go there. And I slowly walked and <laughs> was looking around. I was like, "Oh, my turn for get some action." Yeah, like somebody's gonna try false crack you. <laughs> I what? text I texted Greg. I said, I got I got Vaseline on my face, I ta <laughs> taped up my knuckles, I'm ready to go. <laughs> you got your mouthpiece in. <laughs> what he's talking about, folks, is the uh, the other uh, I guess it was last weekend last I was coming by and I got attacked by a homeless guy and uh <clears throat> he regretted it. Yes. That's we'll end there. Yes. <laughs> but you know, James is going, I wish I was there. What well, James, you think this guy would have tried to <laughs> suck or punch me if I was with you? No way. From anyway. now on, when I walk with you somewhere, I'm gonna like creep, like hide on the side. <laughs> yeah, use that's you that. as bait. Yeah, because you know how easily you can hide. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're walking next to giant buildings, and I can yeah. hide. Yeah. Oh, oh, Miles, you didn't hear that story. Yeah. yeah, this guy was walking past and he shot a left out. I blocked, not blocked it, but you know, avoided it. He punched me here, and then um, it went on from there. Yes. And. Um, and not, I, not I, in his favor. Yeah, and even crack him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But um, you know what? On your flight, yes, right. You were telling me that the uh, you got a shout out by one of the flight attendants. Yeah, so it's funny because I have a bit about me arguing with the flight attendant, and it just so happens on the flight from um, Kona to Maui, yeah. a friend of mine is the flight attendant. Oh. So I say, hey, hi. And then I had a feeling she was going to do this at the, as we arrived in, in oh. Maui. Um, and here, let me play it if you guys oh, can yeah. hear it. Uh, yeah, Jeff, hold that up to the mic. We yeah. should be able to. On today's flight for his Maui show, located in seat 6B, James Rufane is on board. He's our local 6'7", someone comedian. He's here in Maui for the Maui leg of his tour. Please feel free to ask him for a bird's eye view selfie. Is that after you asked her for the seat belt extension? <laughs> so on Hawaiian Air, I don't need it. Oh, oh you don't. Hawaiian Air's um, seat belts? Seat belts are long and or or I lost weight and now I fit oh. them. So for those of you who don't know, uh, uh, James does this funny bit about having to ask for a seatbelt extension yes. on certain flights. Yes. I know. And, <laughs> and she uh, also made me a drink that was very, 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 very strong. Oh, my goodness. Because <laughs> they make them for, I guess, first class, but then they gave me one. Oh. And it looked like it was clear with just a spot of soda. <laughs> just a spot. <laughs> Would you like some soda with your alcohol? Yeah, oh, that's too much. Yeah, but it was funny because a guy in front of me put his phone up and started taking selfies with me. From the yeah. Was he a tourist? Yeah, and then oh. he turned around and started talking to me. So I did a selfie, people in the back, and they're all like, hey. And yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Because <laughs> what kind of punk hits a, kup a kupuna? You yeah. know what, um, Kevin? I'm, you know, it, it's easy to assume that the guy was a little off, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that what that had something to do with it. You know what I mean? He sees this gray-haired yeah. man walking late at night. I had a lay on, so maybe he thought I was a tourist. I don't know. Yeah. And he he saw an easy target and turned out wasn't so easy. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. It was one guy from Waianae. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, anyway, but I had my radar up, you know, and th and that's that that to me I think is should be the takeaway for most people. Mm -hmm. You know, look ahead of you, look around when you see this scabby bugger coming up, yeah. you know that uh, your uh, your radar should be up already. Mm -hmm. It's not like I was looking at the ground cuz he would have got me. Yeah. But uh, he never has that. Yeah. Whop your jaws. <laughs> whop but your I walked jaws. that walk last night, and yeah. it's, yeah, it's like... You, Desolate. Yeah, I'm the only one out there. Right. I, I rarely see security, and it's dark. Yeah. 
So I, I, you know, I got off Hawaiian, but I walked all the way to where that's domestic what I, flights. That's what I did. Because yeah. when you, I, what happened to the parking that was close? Now you got to go all the way around and yeah. park in that in that new area. Yeah. I guess they're they're um, rebuilding. Yeah, it or yeah, something, yeah. They're right? fixing it up. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I tell you what. Uh, speaking of. Um, <clears throat> Bad planning on my part. Well, no, well, bad planning on his part. Oh, oh, oh! What, what I'm saying, I, sh I should have, I should have been a little further yeah, away yeah. from him. You know what I mean? And now that I look at or it, or maybe, retrospect. maybe it worked out exactly the way you wanted it. Maybe. <laughs> my wife's like, "Did you do that on purpose?" <laughs> no, <laughs> no. See, she knows. She's like, okay. I was like, bro, go swing, please, bro. I wish you would swing, oh, just, bro. Come on, bro. Just, just go for it. I ready. <laughs> yeah, in fact, come with your rights. <laughs> but anyway, um, here's some, uh, I guess, better planning. <laughs> All new tonight, city crews are about to dig into a road in Mona Wheelie that was just paved less than a year ago. H&N investigates reporter Allison Blair has more on the poor planning in tonight's top story. Last summer, the city spent a quarter million dollars to repave part of Aldor Road, not realizing the Board of Water Supply would be coming in a few months later <laughs> and tearing much of it up again. Look at this, this fresh layer of asphalt on Eldor Road is only a few months old, but it's already been defaced with red and white. Oh, look at that. It got tagged by the city. <laughs> Spray paint. The work of construction crews that will soon rip through the pavement to replace half century old water pipes that run wow. beneath the road. Oh, it would, why would a chicken cross a road? I don't know. To get wow. to somewhere? Oh, he's check and maybe that's one maybe that's a supervisor. Oh. Board of Water Supply officials say it's a 15 million dollar project, nearly 7 years in the making. Wow. Despite all that planning, word of the work apparently never made it to Honolulu Hale. So last July, the city spent nearly 2 I used to live on that street. Oh yeah. <coughs> yeah, years ago before we moved here, I moved from there to here. Oh. I was renting dollars to resurface just over a two mile stretch of the winding <coughs> road between the Pulley Highway and Luna Eye Street. Luna Eye, that's now it. Now, the right utility there. company confirms workers are oh, preparing to dig you. up about Look, a third of a He's mile add stretch music. of this paved <laughs> road. Asphalt that should have lasted the next five years. It's just disappointing. The chair of Kailua's neighborhood board says the double disruption is an understatement of the year. <laughs> it's costly to taxpayers. You have to question the, the, the process. Back in 2012, the, the... Bill Hicks, do you remember the comic Bill Hicks? I was Hicks? gonna say. Yeah. He's seen better days. <laughs> no. He passed away from a pancreatic cancer yeah. years ago, but Bill Hicks, the comic, was one of my favorite comics he He's, was way ahead of his time well he was the lenny bruce of our well yes, my generation yes, not yeah, so yeah. much yours city council passed an ordinance to enact a program called complete streets the city obligated itself to go through this checklist and see if there are other projects that were due or potentially necessary. The idea is by <coughs> coordinating everything all at once, it reduces cost. There's less disruption to drivers and the neighborhood. The checklist is either deficient or the execution of the checklist is deficient. Unfortunately, every now and then, a project will get overlooked. Despite both agencies participating in monthly meetings to prevent these kinds of blunders, the mistakes still happen. A spokesperson for the Board of Water Supply apologized on behalf of the utility and the city. Out of service. Me, huh? I'm really official. Saying incidents like this are rare. None of us like it when it happens, and it's and certainly not something that we did deliberately on anybody's part. It was an unfortunate uh, oversight. Hicks says he'd like to see an after action <laughs> report to nail down exactly what went Ooh, wrong. Some Namaste. determination Namaste. Yeah. to see how it was not caught and some upgrading of the checklist or the procedure to minimize the chances of recurrence. If all goes as planned, the Board of Water Supply project should be complete about the spring of 2025. In Manawili, Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now. Wow. Here, Michael Seal says, update on Iam e. uh, Tongi. He is in the top five, and that is where it's concerning because 
Even if he gets everyone's votes at home, it will not be enough as he is number five. I have his mom on Facebook, if you want an interview, uh, said his dad is half Tongan and Samoan. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, everybody's going to be after him. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And well, plus, most of what he does, we can't do because of the music licensing. Yeah, yeah. I do my votes, but the thing is, because of Hawaii time, yeah. and it's live voting, and the show airs in Hawaii maybe 7 p.m., but the yeah. voting on the live happened at 3 o'clock. Yeah, so yeah. unless you're on social media, then you'll see, hey, everybody, vote now. Then you just blast it away. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't. Uh... Yeah. I don't watch the show, but uh, he's doing well, and we're proud of him. Yeah. And he has that, you know, is everyone, you know, he reminds uh, everyone of Israel mm. because of that, you know, that the big uh, boy that, with the well, that delivery, and it's mm. so it's almost childlike, mm. you know. Well, the thing that people forget is that you don't need to win American Idol. He's on his way. His career well, is going to take off because. Although he's famous now, right? And well, they they interviewed um, what was the gal that uh, did well last uh, time? That did oh, um, Jasmine Trias. Yeah, Jasmine Trias, yeah. who who I met a wonderful gal mm -hmm. uh, in Vegas. She was opening for, um, I mean, she was working with, mm -hmm. I should say, uh, Society of Seven uh, back in the day. Mm -hmm. But she went on to do stadium tours and all yeah. kinds of stuff. You know, well, even though is it Hudson? Um, she didn't win. She felt like she was robbed, but. She ended up getting, a, I think, an Emmy and an, and an Oscar, and yeah. she's big time. I mean, well, you don't need to win. You just get up there, and that platform puts you out in front of people. And any concert he does, he's going to sell out. Yeah. Oh. And, you know, and it, which, which is interesting, because before this show, he was doing stuff on, you know, on YouTube. Nobody gave him the time of day. Yeah. He was, was in a little kid. club, and yeah. it was like, you know. Who is that kid? He doesn't yeah. I remember when my my brother passed away, you know, and uh, and the place, you know, this theater was there was a thousand people there mm. at his funeral, you know, or, or celebration wow. of life, right? And I remember getting up there and going, "Look at this! Hey, I, I got a question. Where were all you people when he was playing a little club in Kailua, mm. and there were ten people there a night, you know? Yeah. So if you like, <clears throat> um, you know, if you want to support music, mm -hmm. including Ian Tongi. Go see people live in a club. Yeah, or know? even even comedians. I mean, in in, yeah. in Kona, comics. there's a lot of comics there, and they're they're, they're hungry. They want to, you know. Uh, and I was telling the people at my show support live performance, support live um, arts. You know, I see that as an opportunity. Maybe we should do a thing where we we go in and we showcase these talent, these kids. That'd be great. I call them kids, but you know what I mean. These well, younger comics, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can call them kids too. They're in their like twenties and thirties. Oh, that's kids, yeah. that gun fun it. Wow. Sometimes it's better to deal. Um, it's a better deal not winning yeah. than you're uh, you're uh, contracted or bound to label. Yeah. Oh, you know that is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you you're taking off, Felicia. Yeah. Thank you for showing face. Mahalo. Yeah, we're coming up here. We got a few more minutes, mm -hmm. and we have uh, I think one more. Um, yeah, this is that yeah. about that water app. But before we continue, can we say hello to your friends? Well, we have uh, Doc Bailey Cranes and Equipment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he rents and uh, teaches people how to operate and repairs those giant cranes. Mm -hmm. um, he um, is a sponsor on our television program, but we like to mention and thank mm -hmm. him here. Also, Aloha Kia. I know a you guy. Know, yeah, I know a guy. In fact, I was one of our... Um, um, editorialized videos i don't know if you saw the the kia logo on the bottom mm -hmm. he does all sorts of things we have two kias in our family yes. and we love them and also um tnt tinting and uh, we will have their uh, video on our television show shortly yes we're still working on that but thank you to our three sponsors that's three and all we need is nine more yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we'd be loaded. Well, we'd be all right. But yeah, yeah. and then we'll be coming to the neighbor islands to hi highlight these the the next generation of Hawaii comedians. Yeah, that would be good because yeah. I mean you know when we uh, I did um, what was it called um, uh, the Dragon Upstairs mm -hmm. and before that we did Lizard Lounge and a lot of guys came out. Kamaka Brown, uh, K K How Jackson. You know? Well, even with um, the female comics of Hawaii shows that they have, yeah, well, Erica, she started at, I was there when the dragon yeah. upstairs, and she got up and told a joke, right. and now she's continuing. She won the steak knives. Yeah. 
<laughs> from Remember that? Dr. Masunaga. Yeah, Dr. Masunaga. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. We gave a first prize was steak knives, second prize was Pop Tarts. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people want the Pop Tarts and go, oh, uh, you know, more strawberry. <laughs> Okay, Kevin, very good. Oh, look, uh, Ke um, Mad Statter saying, how's it to Kevin Fraser not, not winning? Yeah, I guess you... Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's what... Uh, um, who was it? Uh, Paulo Gato was saying about the San Francisco comedy competition mm -hmm. that he won, and we asked him, how come you didn't get a series like yeah. all these other guys? And he goes, well, all the big stars you remember took second place, and yeah. I took first. Yeah. Maybe it's better to take second, you know? Yeah. That's what I always aim for. Second place. <laughs> I want I like to be the first one to come in last. <laughs> Ooh. Come see me at the Blue Note on 531. He's at the Blue Note so often. Johnny Rocks Hollywood. At the Blue Note on May 31st. Yes. What day is that, uh, Johnny? Probably a Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you know, the local guys, we always get the Wednesdays. Yeah, I believe. I know. But yeah, check him out. Johnny Rocks Hollywood's always, he's always there. Um, um, and it's, yes, the uh, hey, 31st is a Wednesday. And, and Johnny, are you there by yourself? Or are you there with other people? Let us know. I know you're a fast typer. You know, maybe uh, James and I can show face. But would I have to leave this room? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, if you... <laughs> <laughs> it's 30 uh, 33rd time not counting for andy mm -hmm. oh i didn't know wow 33 i've been there four times wow wow that's that isn't it? so oh. yeah oh, he's talking about um i guess G jerry's asking about frank de lima he has mother's day at blue note who frank yep Oh. And it's a, uh, I think, brunch. So it's a, or it's a maybe like 1 o'clock. So or he's with us. Uh, Frank DeLima is with us on the 13th. Yep. And on the 14th, he's at the Blue Note. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dang. Tower of Power will be at the Blue Note this week. Nah. Mm. Wow, I remember that. Okay. All right, gang. Uh, let's do our last editorialized video. And this is interesting. This is about an app that reminds you to drink water. You mm. put in your height, your weight, and then it kind of estimates uh, to drink water. But if you drink other things, it will, you know, it will record those too. Really? Right? Yeah, and what's interesting about it is I've been using this app for the last six months or so. So when I saw it, I went, oh, I got it. But we'll talk a little bit about the reality of how much water you should drink um, after this, but uh, let's check it out. What the tech? How much water should you drink each day? If you're like most people, you're not getting enough. Our Jamie Tucker has more on an app I'm that helps enough. you stay hydrated. We are getting enough. Give me a lot. Everyone feels like we should probably drink more water. The trouble is, we need to be reminded to drink water. You can keep track in several different Do ways we? on your smartphone, but this app called Water Llama so. makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Water Llama simply tracks how much water you're getting and sends reminders to make sure you're drinking enough. You'll enter your age. It's a good app. I'm not saying it's a bad app. It's it's very accurate. Gender, height, and weight so that Water Llama can calculate how many ounces you need. When you drink any beverage, you log it into the app. Water Llama uses animated characters that fill up with different colors as you log your intake, making it easier to see your progress. If you start the day with a tall glass of water, log it in the app. Track your other beverages, too, and the app shows how much hydration they provide. For example, water has a hydration level of 100%, while milk provides roughly 30% more. 30% more for milk. Did you hear that? And huh. on an Apple Watch. I mean, everyone goes, oh, as you drink water, but it's he says milk provides 30% more hydration. How can that be? Wow. Anyway throughout the day so you don't forget and you can log your intake on the watch it syncs with the apple health app automatically and at the end of the day you'll get a visual of how much you drank or how much you need to drink now the free version of water llama has some very basic features but the premium version is just seven dollars a year which is about the cost of a couple of bottles of water sorry android fans water llama is iphone only i'm jamie tucker and water llama is the jamie app of the tucker. day how cool is that? You go in and you, you're, you're walking, you go, I have an idea for a video for what the tech. And you just pull out your phone and you record yeah. it and then you sell it to news 
podcasts all over the country. I'll bet you he's got like subscriptions of all these different places. He huh. goes, here's what I do, here's what, you know, and then they subscribe to it. You know, kind of like, know what I mean, Vern? Yeah, get that? get yeah. paid. But, uh, but here's the deal. You know, I, the, you know, I was using the app and mm. drinking, and I was drinking a lot of water. And you know, brother was saying, you know, uh, oh yeah, I, I, you know, I drink so much my pee is clear. Hey, Johnny, mahalo for the nine, whoo, nine ninety nine super chat. That's super on the, chat. Yeah, that's on the uh, Facebook side. YouTube. Uh, excuse me, YouTube. YouTube. Thank you, James. Yeah, but um, um, what I'm saying is the clear. Yeah. Well, you, but. A doctor was saying, but you know what? Maybe you should listen to your body yeah. and drink when it's thirsty, mm -hmm. not just when you, oh, I got to down eight glasses of water or whatever. Because yeah, even like uh, sometimes they say craving is your body telling you that you're low on something we want. Like if you're craving fries or chips or something is maybe you associate that with salt. So your right. body's saying we need some more sodium or stuff right. like that. So trust your body. Like for instance, you know, if you're craving hot dogs, you're probably not getting enough horse nose. Oh yeah, <laughs> horse nose and, and a baseball game. That's America. Yeah, it's America right there. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know, and we were talking about it before we went on the air. How often are you in a, a, a place where you can't find water in in a regular, you know, yeah. people carrying, you know, bottles of it so they can go. I'm going to hang out in the desert, like just like like 80 miles in the middle of the desert right. with no car. <laughs> Herb Tanaka wants to know, is there a beer app? Yeah. yeah I think there should be. And that would have like no hydration level. Oh, look at this. Hey, seeing Kenny Loggins um, on Thursday in Nashville, nice. I will ask him if he remembers a young Andy Bumatai who used to open for him. We'll see him uh, at the sound check. Nice. Oh, yes, Kevin, please ask him. Um, you know, he'll like that. Anyway. The highway to the danger zone. Yeah, danger zone. I know. Yeah, I don't, Great, know, I don't know about really this Really nice app. guy, too. I don't know about this app, though. It's kind of weird where it's like, Takes a because it takes up a lot of work. By the time I finish at putting in all the things I drank, I might be thirsty again. No, uh, you know what? What I did was, and I have it on my phone. Mm. Is every time you drink it, you you estimate the you know that like it's twenty ounces of water, mm -hmm. and you put it in there, and this this little thing fills up. Mm -hmm. So you go ding, and then you get a hey, and then it goes into your um, a health app on your iPhone and all that. But you're on an Android, right? Yeah. But still. You know, I, I stopped doing it because I went, you know, I'm drinking. Oh, I got to go drink water. You know, I'm, I'm not even thirsty. And I'm telling myself I got to go drink what water. What happens if you don't have your phone and you're like, I forgot to do something today. It works on the watch. <laughs> like, I, oh, well, I forgot to drink. I was like, oh, I didn't have my phone. But Rick wants the beer app. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Well, I mean, do you really need a reminder for when to drink beer? I'm pretty sure you wake up and like, yeah. oh, what time am I going to start drinking beer? I do have a reminder. It's called a clock. <laughs> yeah. Because o -clock. any a clock and it's time for a beer. It's yeah. beer o'clock. You know, the other day I went, I left the house uh, and, and I didn't take my cell phone. Uh -huh. I was out of the house for 20 minutes, no cell phone, and uh -huh. I survived. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't Google Maps, uh, nothing. I couldn't text people. I had no phone calls for wow. 20 minutes. You know what? Um, and Anani is saying 808 Viral is in the chat, but I can't find them. 808 Viral. Thank you for being here, 808 Viral. Yeah. Uh, Nani Aloha is telling me that you're in the chat, but I, it was, I guess it's been a while here. And it's again, probably lurking. Yeah, but and I didn't see you. But uh, well, we, If you type in, I think, the search. Yeah, but... You know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, you know, well, I'll tell you what. You know, this whole going without your phone—that—that—that's mm -hmm. that, that's a whole—that's a whole, you know, subject. We maybe we should talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Can you survive without your phone? Yeah, One day I went to work when I was driving bus without yeah. my phone, and well, what I've done is I have this app, th this watch now, mm -hmm. but I can make calls on it and mm -hmm. stuff. But so I leave my phone. Um, home more often than not mm -hmm. so i'm not sitting there you know like but can you go without your phone and your watch no well <laughs> i've done it because when i'm on the one wheel i can't oh, put, you know my wrist guard comes so i put this in my pocket mm -hmm. and i leave the phone home but 
Um, That'll be a challenge. But you know what? I'm I'm you know I'm a, I'm an old baby boomer, so I'm not you know that hooked on phone yeah. thing. You know, I just hey, so what? You know, the car breaks down, I will walk home. I'm only a mile away. Yeah. You know? Well, I think the part that probably messes people up when they leave their devices at home is if they go someplace and they have to wait in line or sit in a waiting room, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, what do I do now? What do I do with my hands? Where do I look? I don't have. It's so funny you would mention that because I was reading something that said we're not bored anymore. Yeah. You know, nobody always entertained. It's like, oh, you know, all of a sudden you're cruising Facebook or TikTok or whatever yeah. your flavor is. But people, you know, used to, you know, and I did that the <laughs> other day. I, I went down and I was waiting for my truck to get fixed, right? Because the battery problem I had, mm -hmm. I didn't open my phone. I just sat there. And people looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> like, man. So I've never seen that. What is that? His eyes. I've never seen people looking with their eyes at me before. I, I think I think what it was was, see that old guy? He don't know how to use one phone. <laughs> but that's how I come up with material. I people watch. Yeah. So that's why I can put my phone away and just look at people. And, and it's weird. I came up with tons of new material going with Graham, who went to a nightclub. Wow. I stayed outside because I didn't want to go in there. And I just yeah. watched people <laughs> from outside wow. the nightclub like a weirdo. I love those quiet moments. So underrated. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, gang. So that takes us to the top of the hour. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Thank you to Nani Aloha, um, Ann Ware, um, C. Honda, and Devin, yep. our moderationist, for helping us out. Mm -hmm. um, thank you to all the people who cheered or, or subscribed. And if can, especially on the YouTube side, yeah, you know, hit the like button, but please subscribe. We're trying to get to 30,000 uh, subscribers. We're very close. And uh, also, someone asked us, what happened to the, um, you know, the, what would you call it, the Amazon link? Mm. It's still there. If you go to the, uh, the um, YouTube side, it says Amazon link. And what that is, is if you click on that when you're planning to go to Amazon, right, Anything you buy during that session mm -hmm. will get a sm tiny little um, commission for yeah. yeah. But it doesn't cost you anything. Maybe. So it's a way to support the show if can. Yeah. And we have a Patreon. We like to mention that. It's, you know, whatever, patreon.com slash Andy Boomatage. So any way you can uh, support Tanks app, yeah. we'd really appreciate okay. it. And yeah. if you guys can follow me on Instagram, at Comedian James Money. All my other social media is doing well. It's just Instagram. It's the weirdest yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. So, thanks for being here. My name's Andy Bumatai. And I'm James Money. And you are the Hammer Jane Gang. Mahalo. I'm going to poke the button, okay? Here we go. Aloha noah.